We are Team 14, and this is our project proposal for the Emperor Penguin Population Survey Mission. The project is the design and implementation of a UAV to autonomously navigate and pilot between the home base at the Australian Mawson Research Centre and Taylor's Rookery. Here it will capture the images to be used to survey the breeding population of the local emperor penguins. The goal is to ground truth the satellite images to maintain an accurate count of the population and monitor changes. Once the equipment has arrived at the Mawson Research Base, a team of two CASA certified operators will set up the UAV. The catapult launch will commence after testing and weather have been cleared, allowing a smooth transit to cover the 80km displacement at 1500 feet from the base altitude. Once arrived at Taylor's Rookery, the UAV will proceed to make a descent and decrease speed to complete the operation. The UAV will video and stream its pass over the colony and perform a figure 8 pattern to get the best coverage up. After several takes, the UAV will take the transit back and perform a landing sequence. The UAV has been designed specifically to complete the Antarctic mission. It has been tailored for long operating ranges and resistance to harsh weather, featuring a rigid fiberglass airframe taking inspiration from the IA-17 Mantra. It has enough fuel to cover total range of 289km and a 3 hour battery life for auxiliary systems. The UAV can operate in 60km maximum winds and the camera features a fast shutter speed allowing for motion blur to mostly be mitigated while recording. Visual intelligence and deep learning algorithms have been developed to detect anything including animals. In Western Australia they have also used infrared camera on a drone to detect and survey small mammal populations. The new Penguin C VTEL UAS from UAV factory with an improved design that increases the flight endurance by 20% and contains state-of-the-art performance, communication and recovery features. These can be applied directly to the project to further improve the technology and performance. Flying a drone in Antarctica is more dangerous than you think. Component failure, heavy popularised wildlife zones and rapidly changing weather are some of the more common risks. To prevent the likeliness of these occurring, the team has considered many different avenues to heavily reduce the risk of these occurring. The testing of the design UAV is crucial to prevent an error during operation. While some tests are rather specific and only account for one requirement, many are broad and encompass a large suite of safety requirements. Although the testing may be tedious and time heavy, a safely tested drone is a drone less prominent to risk. A full testing traceability document should also be completed pre-flight. This confirms no malpractice was the causation if a problem were to occur.